Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the how to manage transaction in JDBC. So that's JDBC transaction management. So let's go through the slide. Now first of all, what is transaction? A transaction is a set of actions to be carried out as a single atomic action. Either all of the actions are carried out or none of them are. Uh, like example of transaction when you want to transfer hundred dollar from one account to other you do so by subtracting hundred dollar from the first account and adding same hundred dollar to the second account if this process fails after you have subtracted the hundred dollar from the first bank account the hundred dollars are never added to the second bank account the money is lost in the cyberspace. To solve this problem, the subtraction and addition of the $100 are grouped into a transaction. If the transaction, if the subtraction succeeds but the addition fails, you can roll back the first subtraction that, uh, that way the database is left in the same state as before subtraction was executed. Right. So this is the one of the best example of transaction. Now, thing is that how to handle transaction in JDBC. So as we know that in JDBC auto commit is by default false. So when you execute any statement by calling a method like execute or execute update, then immediately that uh, that uh, results is committed into the database so first of all you need to make auto commit false by calling a method is called set auto commits on the connection object so basically you start a transaction by setting auto commit as a false like this if you have a connection object then connection interface has a method is called set auto commit you need to uh, make this flag as a false so that control will be in your hand so if you execute any statement then that will not immediately come into the database until unless you do not uh, commit explicitly that result is not going to store into the database so that will wait for the your commit now you can continue to perform database queries and update after setting this flag all these actions are part of the transaction if any action action uh, attempted within the transaction fails you should roll back the transaction and this is done uh, like this in catch block uh, if some exception arises so this would be the connection dot set auto commit would be the first statement in your try block and after that you perform some action means you execute set of sql queries as a, a single unit of work and if any exception arises then control will go to the catch block and catch block you will have to roll back the actions uh, whatever actions uh, have been performed till yet. If all actions succeed, you should commit the transaction. Committing the transaction makes the action permanent in the database. Once committed, there is no going back. Committing the transaction is done uh, like this in the end of the try block, like connection dot commit could be the last st statement in your try block. So if control reaches the to the last block in the last statement in the try block like connection dot commit means uh, whatever uh, set of a uh, set of sql query have, have been executed till it uh, all operations have been succeeded right so that's why you wanted to make it commit now of course you need a try catch block around these actions and here is an uh, code snippet how you basically manage the transaction in JDBC so first of all you need to get the connection object right so once you get the connection object then in try block you have a you have to make uh, auto commit as a false right so we have a connection object then connection as a method as we have discussed connection as a method is called set auto commit you will have to make it false by default uh, it is true now create and execute statements so you have a various actions like if you have a withdraw and deposit so these two actions uh, you will have to call in the try block after setting uh, auto uh, set auto commit false 
and once all actions uh, performs successfully then finally uh, you would like to commit those actions right in the permanent change in the database so that's why connection dot commit if any exception arises uh, while executing the sql query list of sql query uh, within the uh, these two statements right then control will go to the catch block right with some exception and there we can roll back uh, the action which performed earlier so connection dot roll back we don't want the partial commit on the database right so uh, we will have to do connection dot roll back and finally what uh, resource like connection you need to close in the finally block and if you use try with resources then you don't need to close even connection object in the finally block even right so that's all in this video tutorial so in this video tutorial you uh, just i have given you a uh, high level insight how to manage transaction in jdbc in next video we will go through a uh, hands on example and there we will see uh, how we can manage the transaction so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial